Hello awesome people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Airport CEO to the final episode of this season, the season finale, that's right. Last episode, we finally got our largest airplanes that are in the game um, to come in. This I decided to not look, look at anymore. Uh, we needed to build an entire new baggage carousel to actually include that one medium stand. And the only reason why I put it in the medium stand was just to make sure that we got a few bigger airplanes in because I presumed that this was going to take a lot more time to actually make it work, but it actually works. It actually works quite nicely out uh, all, already, uh, I think. So um, check all this. I think this is all fine. Um, so there are some people who for some make sure custom move is accessible through walls. Why are they? Why can't they pause customs? What the hell is go? Why is it all everywhere the same? Passport check word. Custom? What is a custom thing? Security checkpoints, medium security. Passport checkpoint. This is customs, right? I think that is customs. But then again, the other flight worked. So. We're just gonna presume that this is something weird that the game does. I don't know why this is the case. Actually, leave a comment if you know. Um, make sure a customs booth. Is that this one? If I can click on it. No, okay, I can't even click on it. Is that a custom booth? That's No, that's the boarding desk, of course. Weird. Because to my knowledge, there's nothing in the game that is a custom custom spoof. Yeah. Hmm. You should say it would be under security, right? So small, medium, checkpoint, large checkpoint. Third exit. International zone. I mean these are the only ones we get, so. Then we have the airport police station. Can we put these inside, actually? No, we can't. Okay. Um, anything else here, maybe? No. No, I don't know why that's the case. So let's just ignore it. <laughs> let's just ignore it. Like we did with so many other other of our problems. But yeah, this, uh, this episode is going to be just a recap. Um, we don't really have anything else that really matters that we should build. I think that most of the stuff we wanted to do i wanted to do has been built like the the huge shopping mall like the nice little plaza slash park area which i really like that we could just do this and i also thank you so much for just you know bearing with me i know this is a game about an airport about airplanes and we're just sitting here building parks and shopping malls uh, but i do think that these type of things make your airport come more alive and also you know in lots of bigger airports like international airports that we're trying to build here there are like almost shopping shopping centers, basically. There are shopping malls almost. Um, maybe not to the like the extent if like in a real city or whatever, but there are like areas with a lot of shops and restaurants there, um, at least to the ones I've been to. So that's pretty cool. And I think that really does make your airport come more alive. A park idea, yeah. I mean, it's a bit, uh, it's out, bit out there, I guess. I'm not, maybe there are air, airports where they have like almost like a park slash plaza inside maybe they have probably like maybe they're really luxurious ones maybe um but you know then again it's still it's it's a game and it's a fun idea i think that we did uh, a good job with it too i think it looks cool um maybe in the future if i do this i will make it a bit more uh a little bit less symmetrical oh they all have contracts okay uh a, li a little bit less symmetrical um and maybe make some more little holes like maybe in here somewhere make a little hole that they can walk into here like in a small and then can, they can find like a little statue with a, with a bench or whatever uh, kind of like this but then a bit more extended so you actually go in and here and then over here it is so you have a, a little further to go from the main path i think that it, kind of what we did with the maze actually like the like these little nooks that you go to and you go a bit further away from the main path or this one and you, there's something to see or something to do there so 
um maybe put a vending machine there maybe put like a, a little nice little plaza like these over there uh maybe even like a really, really small restaurant i think and that would be like a cool um way of making it more different more unique because this is basically just a, a you know if you look at it it's it's basically it's just a square um filled in with all types of things but the, the way we fill it in, I, I don't see a lot of people do this in this game or even in other, in, in other games, I guess. Um, this is being used, used, but not like in this necessarily this way, because this is, yeah, this, this is a lot of fun for me to do. I, that's what I'm trying to say. And the same thing over here. Um, in the future, I will probably, if we do this again, like something huge, like a mega shopping mall uh, in ACO, then I will probably at that point just do like a bit of it and then the other stuff I will do off camera um, and just show to you whenever it's done uh, in, in the next episode and just come back and say hey look at this this is all the stuff that I made too and just do a little like tour basically because I think it took quite a long time to actually go over the episodes on the other hand you know I also know that some people really like to see everything that we do um, so I think that that would be a uh, a mix maybe in the future of how we do things uh, with that that's pretty cool this is entirely red though with uh, not because of the carpet but <laughs> because of the the things here why are uh, is this not working people are using it though they are running in and out of it well at least out why you need to Oh, no, now it's fine. I think they actually need to go somewhere, like a customs office, and I don't know what that is. But yeah, let's, uh, like I said, let's just kind of ignore that. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed this uh, this season of Airport CEO. That's one of the reasons why it went on so long, because normally I'd like to have my seasons go for like a, a max of like 25 20, 20 25 episodes and maybe in some cases we will go to 30 um this one went on for like what is it is it episode 32 something like that i think it's episode 32 um which is then the finale uh but yeah that's that's way over what i normally plan for my seasons uh it has to do one with the skill of the build so we did quite a bit and it uh it, it was also a lot of new stuff for me to to work out which i could have just cut out every video um of me trying and troubleshooting and all that stuff but i feel like that's the more human side to it right so with this we started off um i think feel like this was going pretty well there was not a lot of troubleshooting here but then we got to this bit which the remote stands and all that stuff and then the baggage carousel i just oh my god it just took a long time and i could have cut out a lot of it um which meant that you know very realistically you would have missed some videos in the normal schedule because I just didn't have the time to make to sit down for more time uh at this game to actually make these so it would have cost some videos but on the other hand maybe you know you wouldn't have see, has to see me troubleshooting this but on the other hand troubleshooting is part of you you know just being a human in a, and playing a game um and i like it i like to try and troubleshoot things in games as long as it's not getting frustrating which at the end this became a bit frustrating um i think i also pointed out in the videos yeah, and then this part, I was kind of gearing up. It's kind of why, why we took a break from building airplanes and, uh, well, not airplanes, but airport structures here. Uh, and we just went in here and started building this huge shopping mall um, and all that. I, we just, I was just gearing up for, for another, like, really annoying troubleshooting session with the larger airplanes and all of that, which, which you know, was part of that. Um, but in the end, it actually turned out pretty well. It, it wasn't that big of a deal um, con concerning to what we saw over here. Now, the one big part that was not helping out there is that these were these are remote stands and these aren't. So not having remote stands really, really helps out. Um, and, but to be, to be fair, we kind of actually still have some troubleshooting to do because this is filling up. I don't think these people are leaving. They are complaining about the needing to go to the toilet but there is a toilet here although yeah it's kind of not a big one um i'm not sure what we what we do here did i did i miss that part for the international zone is that it uh where is it international zone i i might have missed that one 
Would that? No, maybe not. Over here, I think I... I think I did that. It's just make sure a custom... But if I click on it, nothing happens. It's actually through walls and zones. Do we have a zone that I missed? Staff zone, secure zone, international zone, bathroom, bathroom. No? Do I need to click on the zone? Or what? To sort of set down the, the areas? Like, if I select the zone... How can I, can I select zones? I don't think I can even select zones. Do we can, can we do it over here somewhere? I don't think so. Let me actually look at the tutorial now because I, I didn't do a few things in the, in the first one. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, let's leave it out. Um, it is still kind of working. The, the planes are coming in and going out. So it, there's a chance that the passengers can't board so that this is just filling up. This small area is just filling up with passengers. Um, it might also just need a reset. Sometimes I notice that it happens with this game that it just needs a reset. And then when you re reload the game, then it just it's fixed for some reason um but yeah like i said this is oh there the plane goes is it actually loaded does it have people on it we no it's now free so we can't check this the status there uh it, it you know it says it should take 65 people but we can't see i think the amount of people that's in there no so we can't see if there's actually people on board um well that's a pity but yeah uh i really enjoyed this series like i said this this season i should say uh and probably this part was my favorite part which is definitely not like building airplanes although i i also in a way i also like this whole idea of doing this uh until we started to have like real trouble with the remote stands and we need to re we need to rebuild that every single time and just change stuff around and and just you know delete all the stuff and then rebuild it again um that was annoying at some point it was totally my own fault but it was annoying um but that made it so that this uh yeah this this idea sort of it feels like a bit as a as an annoyance now from from when i think back to it but actually i really love this idea like the idea of building like a small basically airport here for all the small aircraft and then using all these remote stands which i haven't been using a lot i think i've used it like once or twice in a, in a former uh, airport co season uh just to test it out when they were really new i think i did that but um but now yeah, i haven't used them since because i just i didn't really build airports in a way that we we needed to use them and to be fair we did we don't even need it to do this we could just put plop all these small ones like around here and just use like a, f a few less of them um but just plop them around like we did over here with this with the bigger bigger stands but i thought you know what let's let's actually make like a like a, you know a copy of this but then for actual uh, commercial flights so then we need remote stands and that was kind of the idea I really like that idea, and when I think back of it, I'm, I'm, you know, enthusiastic about what we were trying to do here. Um, but yeah, the, the, the troubleshooting was a bit too much, um, which was a bit annoying. But you know, in the end, I'm, I'm pretty proud of basically the, well, the idea, not, not necessarily what we did with it. I think it turned out fine. Now that it works, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, the, the process towards it wasn't like the nicest process. Let's keep it at that. Um, then, yeah, the, normally what I would do to actually finish this airport, um, I would just fill this up with like toilets, uh, maybe maybe like a hallway of plants again. You know, you know me, I like my plants. Um, probably make like a little, little, little plaza somewhere around here too for the people that are leaving or people that are coming in either way, actually. Um, they can just take those uh, little plazas, sit down, because now it's just a, a big, long, you know, tunnel basically um which kind of it, it makes sense in a way the way we build our airport but it, it, it's not looking very pretty um so normally i would you know take the time to do that i also would take the time to just copy this over to this side basically and all these things copy those over to this side make sure that all looks good and and sort of fits and is uh, symmetrical in a way or at least 
you know, works on both sides instead of we move from this side to this side, what we're doing now. Um, I would take the time to do that, but, you know, that's, that would be just for me. I would probably also then change a lot of this stuff around after um, after testing a bit, remove this one or or keep it when we actually going to move all these stuff, this stuff over. But that would be like future stuff. And I, I tend to at some point just stop. Like I said, this season is already going on more than what I normally do. Um, um, but I tend to I tend to stop when there are still things that can be fixed. But there's a good reason for that. I just I, I just don't always see the need to, to finish the actual airport um, because in a, in a way it's already finished. I mean, what we're going to do here is it's pretty much the same as what we did over here. Uh, what we're going to do with these things to copy them over. I mean, it's just the same as what we did here, right? So there's not, not really something amiss for you guys to, to not see, basically. Um, and it also gives me time to work on other projects. So that being said, uh, the last few minutes of this video, I want to talk to you guys about, you know, the ones that are still here uh, watching this episode, watching these last few episodes of Airp Airport CEO. Thank you so much for staying around. Um, the last few weeks haven't been, you know, the most successful ever for this for the channel in terms of numbers. I don't really care about the numbers, but if you want to, you know, I, I do care about my hobby, which is doing YouTube uh, and making videos for YouTube. And if you kind of want to have that going a bit well and yet want to have you know have some fun with it and get like the part i like the most is people reacting and people you know coming to the videos uh new meeting new people all that type of stuff i like that the most about doing youtube and um that's becoming harder when numbers dip down for a bit and uh you know less and less people come to the videos probably everyone that is watching this is a regular viewer um there's probably not a lot of new people watching if you are new then hey make sure to leave a comment because i'd love to know if, if anyone is new and is actually still here um but yeah i, I would love to just get back to the, the numbers that allow me to do that because that's basically how i see the numbers on youtube they allow you to meet new people if you have if the numbers are high enough on your channel then you you meet new people um people are more likely to leave a comment if they're new um i mean i've i've done youtube uh, for for a little bit now and the first videos that i uploaded no one commented on at some point you know some people start to comment but it's always the same person which generally like very nice and i really enjoy that too to see people back of course um but right now if if i post a new video and it's a new season starting or, or a new game and there's a a lot of the time there's people like coming in and saying oh i'm new to the channel i just found your channel and even to like the older seasons like older uh airport CEO seasons a bit less i guess but um this software ink series a lot of the older seasons we did like uh, a couple of months ago uh people are still coming in there and saying oh i just found your channel uh, i love the the videos or whatever just they're coming in like new people and i have more people to meet and and maybe you know speak a bit longer to like maybe they join the discord maybe they leave some more comments and i could just you know talk to them a bit more that, that's what i like but in order to have that you have to get to a certain level and you don't have to get that high um i mean this channel is like really small so you don't have to get that high to to get to that point but that's what i like about you know a lot that's what, one of the things that i like the most about youtube and um you know in order to, to have that you have to you have to unfortunately look at the numbers and um two seasons running alongside that are both like at episode 30 plus ah, that's this is not gonna work at this point um people are not watching like really really long seasons anymore on youtube they just pop in for one or two videos and then they move on with their day or their, or their life um which you know that's the same thing that i do i don't watch uh seasons from 30 plus episodes anymore maybe maybe very rarely um but a lot of the time I, I don't do that or I miss a couple of episodes in between. So that's kind of the, the story that goes alongside with longer seasons and, and why I don't tend to do those because it's just it's just not as uh, effective. But it also it's it's oversaturating like content for myself and for others. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of behind the, you know, behind the screen, behind the curtain stories for you guys. Um, but that is going to be the point where I end this season. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. Again, that's why it went on so long. 
Um, and it was lovely to come back to this game, which I used to play quite a lot on the channel and also off camera. Um, and uh, I hope that some of the people that were, you know, coming in from Software Inc. and are seeing this game for the first time, they enjoyed it too. I think they have a lot of them. Uh, so thank you so much for just turning up and giving this game or any other games maybe in the future a chance. Uh, and that being said, I uh, yeah, I was very happy with what we've performed here uh, as as a community. So thank you so much for joining me in that. As always, I've been Ibone, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome and thanks for watching. And I'll see you in a new season somewhere in the future.